This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, May 28th. Stock index futures now higher with the S&P putting in another series of gains. Uh, we now have the S&P up for four consecutive days. These gains, even though there are ongoing political tensions between the U.S. and China and overall geopolitical issues, and yet stock index futures, uh, I would have to say, performing very well for the news. Moving over to the currency markets, seeing the euro currency higher with some better economic numbers coming out of the eurozone. Also, we have the pound a little bit stronger, even though we did have a Bank of England policymaker uh, offering some somewhat dovish comments. Uh, so the pound performing a little bit better than the news. Interest rate markets surprisingly lower, especially at the long end. This could reflect the, that traders believe that there may be some strength in the U.S. economy later this year as the yield curve is becoming more steep. Of course, that would more adversely affect the long end of the futures, uh, namely the 30-year bonds, than the short end. So I think this trend will continue where the yield curve will steepen even further, putting pressure at the, the long end of the curve at, and the front end may hold up relatively well. The gold market putting in a good performance today. Uh, there is no flight to quality buying, I would think. More so traders, I believe, are looking at the possibility of inflation down the road. In any event, gold and silver putting in a good performance today, and that would suggest that the longer term trend, I think, is higher for both the precious metals, gold and silver. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.